Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to go over um, how we can create a project with uh, Kotlin. We're going to be following the guide that they provided on their official uh, web page. So if you guys don't know already, Kotlin was uh, made by JetBrains. Um, it is built on, um, it runs on JVM, which is uh, which is what Java runs on, which is really good. Um, uh, and if you if you guys want to if you're more interested in you know knowing uh, well why why would you use call in the first place um, compared to Java uh, there's a lot of videos out there, there's a lot of documentation out there that go over that um, feel free to check them out but for the scope of this project we're just gonna download the IDE um, that's provided by uh, JetBrains. We're gonna create a project using Kotlin in Kotlin and then we're gonna uh, run the project. So first thing you want to do is download the IDE. So you're just going to go ahead and search IntelliJ IDEA and click on the first link. Um, this is what we need to download. So we're just going to go ahead and click download. When you download, there is two options, community and um, ultimate. It doesn't matter which one you download. Um, so for example, it says for JVM and for Android development, download this one. Uh, for web and enterprise development, download this one. Uh, really doesn't matter which one you use. Uh, also, keep in mind that if you're a student, then all these products are free. So if you want to download Ultimate, you know, be my guest. Um, for Yeah, for our purpose, we're just going to go ahead and download the Ultimate one. So we're just going to download Windows EXE and let that run. So once you download, you can go ahead and open the executable and uh, we can go right in and say next select the internet you want to uninstall so for me i already have it um installed so for for me it'll ask me to uninstall first but for you uh, most likely if you this is your first time running then it will not ask you to do this it will just go ahead for the next one but i'm gonna go ahead and uh, say okay let's let's uh, uninstall this say next and uninstall is done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete. So there you go. My thing is uninstalled. Now we can go ahead and um, so just just going to use the standard uh, path. Nothing's going to be changed continue so you can create associations if you if you want it um, for me I, I typically like to open these files with um, um, sublime so I'm not gonna bother clicking on any of these but uh, if you if you want to um, go ahead um, yeah I'm just gonna leave everything unchecked I'm just gonna go ahead and install and let this run So once you're done, it'll come to this uh, section. Just click Run IntelliJ IDEA, Finish. So once you're done with installing, and also keep in mind that if, if it is your first time installing, then you might have to log in or create an account. Go ahead and do uh, any, any of the steps that's required to do so. But um, it should be easy to follow along. And once that's done, you should be on this screen. Not exactly this screen, but you will be on a welcome page. Um, I already created the project, so I'm going to rerun how we can do it. So once you're on this page, not this exactly, it'll be a welcome page. Go ahead and go to file, new project. Inside here, you want to, you'll most likely be in Java. You want to go down to Kotlin. You want to change this to the name of your application. So in our case, we'll just say, hello, Kotlin. And location is going to be same. Now, project template. So, what it, what, what are you using the project for? Um, in our case, we'll, we, will, we will be doing a console application. We just want to do a simple application for today. So, we'll do console application for um, SDK. We can select any. I'm just going to go with 14. And then, once that's done, next. Everything is good here. And just finish. And I'm going to open the project. So if again, if this is your first time running, then um, on the bottom, it will have to download um, 
bunch of dependencies and it will take a while so just wait until this this uh, there's nothing on on this end um, on, on on here and then once that's done that means your project is completely built and ready to go so you can go inside source main inside kotlin main.kt and we have this boiler template or this hello world code made for us inside here we're just gonna um, type well we're gonna say input and uh, read line and we're gonna be printing it so s out we're gonna be saying input okay so basically what we're gonna do is first print hello world then we're gonna uh, ask for an input and in the input we're gonna um, actually you know what we can just say type your name okay and then you can type your name this is gonna read the line you type in into input and we're gonna print it back we're gonna print it right back out um, so that's it and then now if you want to run we just go ahead and do this run and it's building and there you go hello world type your name I'm just gonna say you and it should type you and that's it so this is a um, so I think this is this is the scope of the um, t t video. It was a really basic video, but um, essentially our goal was to create um, an application. So what we did so far was that we first um, um, downloaded IntelliJ IDEA. IDEA. Um, you can if you're if you're using uh, you know if you're gonna use Kotlin for um, Android development, you can go ahead and download the Android Studio by Google. Uh, you can download that one, or if you're uh, but like you know if you're using um, IntelliJ ID if you're using Kotlin for any other purposes like web dev or or server uh, server code or any any sort of uh, any, anything like that then you might want to download um, IntelliJ IDEA uh, once we downloaded it we chose a boilerplate for console application because we wanted to create and create a console application so we created a console application and we wrote these two lines and in it we just ran after so that's that's it. Uh, I hope this was really easy to follow along. Um, once again, this was a really basic and simple tutorial. So I hope it was easy. Uh, and I hope you were able to get the same output as me in the end. Um, other than that, have a wonderful day.